we have to go a little bit into Western religious history and ask ourselves what in Western religion, and especially in Christianity, and this goes also for Judaism, Islam, what is the great heresy? Curiously enough, the great heresy was first in the West committed by no less a person than Jesus Christ, who believed himself to be God. For he said, I and the Father are one, he who has seen me has seen the Father. Before Abraham was, I am. I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the resurrection and the life. He said all that according to this gospel. And that is something that in the Western world you are not supposed to say. And especially you are not supposed to believe it. <laughs> And actually it was very difficult for Jesus because he was saying all this in the context of the Hebrew culture. And he tried to find language in the Hebrew scriptures with which to express his state of consciousness because he had an unusual state of consciousness. But Jesus certainly had this transformation of consciousness. And he was crucified for it. Why? Because he had committed an act of insubordination and treason against the cosmic government. Because if you believe that God is a monarch, an absolute omniscient and omnipotent authority, shall we say a sort of cosmic ego, then to claim to be that is to introduce democracy into the kingdom of heaven to use up divine authority and to speak in its name without proper authorization. And they asked Jesus, by what authority do you speak? Of heaven or of men? And he was tricky about answering that one. He said, by what authority did John the Baptist speak? And they were nervous about answering that one. He could have asked, by what authority did Isaiah speak, etc. Or Moses. But Moses became official authority. And if you could wangle it that what you said was simply an extension of what Moses said, because Rabbi so-and-so said it, who got it from Rabbi so-and-so, who 